Okay guys, uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, how to drive your brushes motor in the easiest way possible with one Arduino and Solo. As you might know, Solo is a universal motor driver and controller, which means that it can control up to four different types of motors, including DC motors, brushless DC motors, permanent magnet synchronous motors, which are known as AC brushless motors as well, and AC induction motors in different types of uh, variations and modes, which we will talk later more about this. But in general, this is a driver and controller that probably you would be able to work in a lot of project with and doing a lot of interesting things with. And in this video, I'm gonna explain how to easily drive a brushless motor. This is a brushless DC motor here I have with Arduino. So uh, as you know that an Arduino cannot like solely control a model because it doesn't have enough power. And the role of such a thing like Solo or any kind of motor driver is to provide enough power for the motor to be able to move and go forward and spin. So uh, that's why we have we, we need to have any for any kinds of motors you have you need to have a controller or driver in between with uh, Arduino so uh, here in this tutorial I'm going to talk about how to control and drive this brushless motor in an open loop manner if you've never heard of this term open loop or closed loop, don't worry. Uh, in our website, you can always find a lot of information and uh, tutorials about that. But if I'm going to go very briefly on that, I would say that open loop is like, in a very simple language, it's when you do not control whether when you have commanded your motor, if it's following your commands or not. For example, you're asking your motor to spin with 300 RPM. In open loop manner, you do not control, you do not ask, you do not check whether you're spinning with 200 RPM or not. You just hope that it's going what you want. But in closed loop, you check everything. So that's why it's called closed loop because there is a feedback from the motor. There are controls, there are uh, measures that uh, make sure that uh, the motor is following the command but this doesn't mean that open loop is useless or anything no because actually open loop is used in a lot of uh, applications because most of the time it's not really necessary to to be super precise or very accurate but uh, anyways it's used and it's important and solo provides you both of these methods it provides you open loop and closed loop so in other videos, I'm going to talk more about the closed loop, uh, but uh, for now, in order to be able to drive your brushless motor with Arduino in an open loop manner, from Arduino to Solo, you need only two simple connections. One, and both of them should be PWM enabled pins. One is used for controlling the speed of rotation. So and the other one is used for controlling the power of the motor. You can apply a fixed power for all, like all the operation, or you can have a variable power, but the speed can be variable, as I'm going to show you now. So, uh, to control and to command solo, the PWM pulses can have any frequency above. 5 kilohertz or 10 kilohertz all the way up to 100 kilohertz it's not important the frequency of the PWM is not important what matters is the duty cycle meaning that if you have a PWM pulse with duty cycle of zero you will have zero speed or zero uh, uh, rotation on speed on the motor if you send to the PWM of the speed uh, the duty cycle of zero and subsequently, if you have a duty cycle of 100%, you will have the maximum uh, rotational speed provided by solo. And uh, 
in our website link down below uh, we have explained what does it mean to have a fixed frequency and a variable duty cycle and uh, uh, i'm gonna provide you you can find much more information there but for now uh, I have connected one potentiometer to Arduino just to show you when I'm increasing the potentiometer value, the speed of the motor will increase. Meaning that when I'm increasing the potentiometer value here on the inputs of solo, I'm increasing the duty cycle. And uh, th there is one more thing that you should always keep in mind that your controller whatever it is, if it's an Arduino, if it's a Raspberry Pi or any other controller, you need to make a same ground with your controller through the ground pin of Solo here. So as you can see here on this black wire, I have connected the ground pin of Solo to ground pin of Arduino. And there are two PW inputs from pin number three and number nine of the Arduino, one is in charge of setting and varying the speed, and one is in charge of controlling the power. And I'm gonna show you what does it mean, controlling the power. In this tutorial, I, we used a fixed power. So uh, we fixed the duty cycle of the pulse on a, on a value like a, a 40%. And uh, the, uh, uh, the duty cycle of the speed, depending on the position of the uh, potentiometer, can vary from 0 to 100%. So, let's see, first of all, in action, what happens when I'm turning on the system, and then I'm going to explain you more about how to set up other things. So, I'm just turning on the whole system together. So, what you saw in the beginning, like the uh, uh, vibration on the motor, it's like the first initiation of solo which identifies the motor parameters and then uh, as you can see now we have a blinking LED down here meaning that the uh, uh, solo is operating normally there is no problem, there is another LED just beside it which if it turns on depending on the behavior you probably have some uh, errors. As you can see I have set the, the voltage of my uh, power supply on 36 volt which is suitable for this kind of motor and uh, solo can go up to five, 58 volt uh, from 8 volt to 58 volt so we wouldn't have it's a very wide range and you can use it for different types of motors. Uh, this is the input for uh, like your bus connection, meaning that your power supply connection. Uh, the red one indicates the positive and the blue one indicates the negative connection. If you connect them reversely, nothing will happen because Solo has a reverse polarity protection. So don't worry, you will be safe. And here you have the connections of the motor, three wires for brushless types or AC type motor types. And the the order of connection doesn't matter. It only matters if you want to set your direction of your uh, uh, rotation. So uh, maybe uh, if uh, when you run your motor, you can see that, okay, with this combination, your motor moves in a different direction or the direction you want, and you can change these wires, or you can command it through here to change the direction, because there is one input here defining the direction for you. And it's a digital input, 0 volt or 5 volt. You will define the uh, clockwise or counterclockwise direction of the rotation. There are other things that you have to tune. So basically, what you have to do is you have to connect the motor, you have to connect the power supply, you have to connect the inputs, and you have to set the, uh, the piano switch. And here, uh, the piano switch is set in this mode. Why? I'm going to explain to you now that how we can uh, tune the piano switch only for, for the first time, depending on the type of your motor choose and depending on the functionality you want. The first thing is, uh, as you can see, it's written one, is in charge of uh, defining whether you want to go into uh, open loop or closed loop. 
So if it's down, it means open loop. Now we want to do open loop, so we push it down. The second one, if you are in closed loop mode, it's useful. Otherwise, it doesn't matter. The third one defines the current limit. So if it's down, you can go up to, to the maximum current provided by solo. If it's up, you, you would have much less current uh, possibly to go, uh, to go to your motor uh, and it's about uh, one third of the maximum current. And the last two beats, number four and number five, are in charge of selecting the type of the motor you have. Here I have a brush city DC motor and that's the configuration you can select. You have two, um, two uh, pins for that, meaning that you can have four different combinations of selections. For DC motors or for brush CC motors uh, for, uh, uh, and uh, Prima Magnus Synchronous motors or brush AC motors, uh, this configuration can be used. So number four is up, number five is down, and in this configuration, you would have a switching frequency at this output of 20 kilohertz. What does it mean? It means that uh, the, the PWM pulses going to your motor will have 20 kilohertz of switching frequency, switching frequency. If you put this up on this mode, still you would be in brushless type motors, but the frequency at the output will be 80 kilohertz. This is useful when you have very super ultra fast motors, like this one, for example, here, which I'm gonna show you later in other uh, uh, tutorials. And in those kinds of motors, you need much more uh, switching frequency, so you put it up, and that's 80 kilohertz at the output. But for now, for this motor, 20 kilohertz is enough, and uh, working nicely so i put it like that so this is the final configuration on the open loop maximum current and brushless dc type motor selected so uh now i'm gonna show you uh what would happen to the motor when i increase the uh, potential with the value as you can see as i start increasing the motor starts to spin with the lowest speed and I go up, way up to maybe higher speeds. And you can see you're reaching to almost the maximum speed of this motor. So the motor is spinning. I can increase or decrease the speed and uh, it's going very up to very, very low speed and way up to maximum speed that's the the whole configuration in open loop mode and uh, you can always increase the power of the motor by increasing the duty cycle of the power pin because sometimes you might need your motor to move with higher power with more torque on its shaft because if you have a system with higher uh, weight or uh, a lot of force or torque applied on the shaft of a motor you might need to increase the uh, the power duty cycle but depending on the type of your motor you you can always find the best value for that or you can have you can make a profile of the uh, uh, different uh, power settings and this was the whole uh, explanation of the open loop mode in other videos and uh, in the description below I'm gonna put for you the uh, uh, the closed loop also tunings and you would find other tutorials about other types of motors. Thank you so much.